This is a video showing how to use the scope display with the built-in microphone within SparkView. The default setting for the built-in sensors is to have them turned off. So the first step to using the scope mode with the microphone is to turn on the measurement for the microphone by using this switch. Once that's done, you can select the sound level or sound intensity. For using the scope mode, you're going to want to select the sound intensity as you can uh, sample that at a much faster rate. So if I click on this line here, it will uh, set this up for standard data collection. Instead of using this display, we actually want to create a display for the scope mode. We can do that by going to the top of the screen and selecting the New Page button. From the template on the right hand side, I'm going to select the largest one at the top. Once I've done that, I'm going to select the icon for the scope mode and click on that. On the vertical axis, I will click on Select Measurement, and now I'm going to select Sound Intensity and click on OK. Once I've done that, I can tell that I'm in the scope mode because the icon at the lower left hand side is going to be that of the oscilloscope display. Next, I'm going to get ready to uh, select data. I'm going to turn off my sound so you don't have to listen to me whistle. As you can see, the trace was hard to follow, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to set a trigger. I can do that by selecting the icon at the lower left hand side and selecting the arrow pointing up to the line. That will show the trigger on the scope display. I'm going to displace slightly from zero so that it will only trigger when the sound intensity gets above that level. If you wish to preserve the trace on the scope, go ahead and stop data collection while the sound is being played. So that will um, also lock the display in place. The trigger can also lock the display in place until the trigger is exceeded again. Stopping data collection uh, will then preserve the trace, at which point you can perform data analysis on it, including the use of the smart cursor to determine the frequency through the period for the display.